Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Usayo Mesale and today Isi and I are taking the conversation. <laughs> Isi, how are you doing today? Very well, thank you. How have you. you been? I've been well. I'm um, trying to get by through this uh, COVID madness. Uh, and you? Well, so-so. I think everybody's getting used to the fact that we're all on lockdown and... Um, and how have you been coping with the security agency? Funny enough, I think I've not had any issue because once they see the... Pre I think they are allergic to, <laughs> to press. <laughs> press. So once they cite my press ID, I mean, okay. they just say, please, madam, be going, be going, be going, and all of that. So but I really not had that issue. Cause, but them. I hear that there's been a lot of harassment. And, exactly. Um, people uh, complaining about extortion and all of that. It's quite sad. Yes. But the truth is that you really cannot stop that. You, you really cannot stop that. Absolutely, absolutely. But um, but we can also try as individuals or citizens in Nigeria to do some a thing or two to you know curb this menace. At least we should be our brother's keeper. Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell that to a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. So here's what we found as today's quote. Now, mm -hmm. prayers don't build good infrastructures. They don't develop countries. They don't improve the poor healthcare system or the educational system. Now, God has placed man in charge of all. That's from Oyekunle Bamiboye. I agree with him totally because we as individuals, yes, we, we can pray, but we still need to do the work. They say prayer without work is, is forfeited. There mm -hmm. is no point in it. So yes, yes. I, I absolutely agree Faith with him. Faith without work is dead. And yes. because um, today we're talking healthcare. Absolutely. And the goal is to bring to the fore the issues that are surrounding the healthcare workers and all of that. So yes. it's mm -hmm. no news that we are facing a global health crisis and that seems to be exposing a lot of gray areas in our healthcare sector. Even for the countries we thought had state of the art facilities and highly trained health personnel, everyone seems not fully prepared for the COVID 19 pandemic so we have experts to talk to us on this but first we'll take a quick break to see what we found in the news please stay with us we'll be right back 